Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here, and welcome to my review for Digivolving Spirits 07, Holy Anjuman, aka what I like to call him, Magna Anjuman, hashtag reverse purist. Um, but just real quickly, I always like to highlight the packaging for these, just because it's a really cool packaging for those of you that like to keep it or display it like that, however, you know, you like to do it. But I really like it because, I mean, the art looks cool in general, but also it reminds me of, which might be what they're going for, and I'm just stupid, but of the old Digimon uh, trading card game stuff, and I just think that's super cool, and I really dig that a lot. Cool shot of Magna Angemon there on this side, and then I was gonna say, I was gonna say back, I'm like, what side is this? How do cubes work? Or it's not even really a cube. Anyway, this review isn't about cubes. Um, shows the two forms on the back, and the next one is a special exclusive, which is Black War Greymon. To be honest, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that one or not. I'm still kind of bitter over missing the Black War Greymon figure back in the day. I was like, oh, I'll get it on the aftermarket, and then I never was able to find it for a reasonable price. Okay, so I'm starting here in his rookie mode for Patamon. And I have to say, this is one of the strongest ones in terms of staying together nicely. Um, I think I mentioned in the last review, Tentamon was also a really strong one for that. Like, th there were some good looking ones in the rookie mode, but I think Tentamon and him are probably two of the strongest ones for looking just like, I mean, you can see, you know, the lines here for where the panels come together. But outside of this bit here underneath, this looks really nice and I'm really impressed with it. I think the color looks good. The personality on his face looks good. You can move his Will Feats here. I have to put that voice on Will Feats when you talk about that. Um, you can see like the angel wings bit of his wings here on Patamon a little bit, but I like the way that they snap together here. Um, I find that to be pretty well done. I just wanted to highlight um, that this being, that, that this being, that this is such a strong um, rookie form in terms of staying together. It definitely takes some finagling, um, especially right here when you're pressing everything together. Um, and certain little bits will fall out. Like this piece, you don't have to remove it for his helmet, which I'll put on shortly, but I just did it because it's easier for me. Um, and there was a couple little um, like kneecaps and stuff that were popping off, so it definitely takes some finagling and can be a bit difficult, a bit of a tight fit, but they did a pretty good job on this. So let's go ahead and start transforming him. So you're basically just gonna wanna start taking the panels apart. Um, let's do this bit here first. Um, this bit right here is where the legs are. You can sort of see that when I showed you the, the underneath part. A little bit so just also be careful because everything's very tight together toy like a toy guy or more like a patamon so just separate it here and you can see the panel here is going to reveal the legs uh, we'll sort of fold these back in for now here and separate these out so that they can be free be free i don't know why i said it like that and then these parts are going to come out basically just going to separate everything and then twist it into place shortly so you can see this coming out here I almost did like a montage bit, but that's kind of harder to do uh, for this. He looks like he's just trapped in here, like, help me! I'm trapped inside a Patamon! Bokensha! I'm gonna take this bit out. I also wanted to highlight this bit here, once I get this out. Right here, these two little flaps, these small flaps here, uh, when you are transforming it, you have to fit these golden areas underneath here, which can be kind of difficult. Like right here, you have to fold these in when you're transforming. Be extremely careful because they curve out, and if you hit one of these, you, I could totally see them clashing, and then you wind up, you know, breaking it. Um, so just be really careful when you're doing that. This way too, I mean, what I'm doing right now when I'm folding this bit out. But when I was transforming it into Patamon, um, that was just kind of a challenge. Because there was one time I just forgot about it. And I was like, oh crap, I have to redo the whole thing because I have to undo it and, and slide these underneath. And when you're putting them away, you basically have to kind of slide these bits under because they stick out. It ends up working surprisingly well. Like, I didn't even think it was going to work that well. But I just wanted to highlight that. Um, so that you, you know, were aware of it, just to be careful. It's kind of just good advice in general with this one because there's lots of panels, lots of moving parts. Okay, now take this bit here and you're gonna separate these. They kind of latch together, but then they're gonna separate um, into like the angel wings and stuff. Okay, now we're gonna take these, and you, there's these little kneecap bits here that you slide up like this. It's kind of a weird bit there. And then we're gonna kind of slide these back out of the way here. All the panels are always clashing, so bear with me the couple times I'm silent. It's just kind of um, making sure that none of the panels crash together. Okay, so basically, you want these up here. You want these kind of, like, overlapping 
over each other in a weird way. It's kind of strange and you can sort of see all of the, the little bits of padam on there and you can kind of adjust them to your liking. I'll kind of try to adjust them a little bit more in a second. It's not perfect, but I want to get to the other parts. And this bit you're going to want to twist around here and then you bend this joint like the reverse way that you would when it's padam on and you sort of make this like belt-ish thing to use. Again, another technical term. Just get that out of the way and then just kind of um, finagle these around and make sure that this is up here and it kind of it's kind of weird I'm not really a fan of how this one exactly works if I'm being honest um, And then these bits just kind of straight up You know flow out and you take this bit here fold it out So it's an angel wing and well don't worry We'll put his helmet on in a second same thing with this bit here Just kind of fold it out into an angel wing um, and then take these bits make sure I'm Trying to always get these to fold nicely Okay, now I'll put his helmet back on and like you don't have to take it off like I said when you're transforming him I just kind of like to do it because it was always popping off on me So I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll just do that um, And there's also like a little where did I put it here? It is a little security piece you can put in the back for him um, To help things right here if you want to I'm not gonna put it in there um, right now though and you can sort of finagle this bit, this bits, these bits to the way you want, so they're sort of out of the way. But this is the core gist of it. It's not perfect. I'm sorry, guys. This this bit here always gives me trouble, which I'm just again, I'm not a fan of the way it works. I wish they would have found a better way to do that. Like it seems weird that this side is the one that has the angel wing because it puffs out so strange, and they want you to get it into this like belt formation, and it just it bothers me the way that's done. I'm not sure how they could have done it. I'm not a toy engineer scientist. Um, but I'm a little bit mixed on this guy to be honest. I think that the internal like figure body looks really good. Like the, the gold sashes here look really nice. Like they have a really nice uh, gold shine to them. These bits here too as well. Um, you have like nice articulation on the arms which is cool. You have his purple blade here which spins around for transformation. This looks cool. As you saw you can move that up so you can see his face there. It's like a pretty like decently articulated almost like figure art in the middle of this and it can look pretty cool um, just sitting there. But the wings they just they take so much finagling and I'm not a huge fan of the way they end up looking. Like I know that it's obviously a transformable figure, um, you know, that we have going on here. But I think Angel Woman pulled it off a little bit better, largely because you basically just took a Gatomon backpack off of her and could be left with a figure, which I think kind of worked better. And it basically just leaves me wanting a figure arts Magna Anjuman so that I don't have to deal with all the wings and like finagling it to look better and look the way I want. And I don't know, like I like the way it looks here. I think it looks pretty neat, but it just leaves a little bit to be desired for me. Um, and it's weird because it has such a strong rookie form, but I feel that this is just shy of how awesome I'd want it to be. It just it just requires a little bit too much for me. Maybe I'm just, like I said, expecting too much out of a transformation figure line because this is something that you inherently are going to run into all the time with figures like this. Um, and it's such an expensive line too, I'm not sure whether I can recommend it. I mean, I think if you like what you see here and this doesn't bother you so much, I mean, this does look pretty decent, but I'll just say that transformation-wise, I think there are some stronger candidates of ones that are a little bit more fun to deal with, a little bit better looking in both modes. I just like the mechanisms of the transformations more. I would absolutely love, love, love to get a just figure arts version of this because this is one of my favorite ultimate designs from the original series and I think that could be really cool. So overall, I'm kind of mixed on this one. It has its strong points, but it's just not as fun to transform for me despite having a uh, strong rookie mode. Anyway, that's about it. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell to get the notifications for all my videos. Until next time, Dawson Ryder and Magna Anjuman, signing out.